What's going on y'all? Today is May 14th, 2023. And if your mother is here, alive, give her a hug, give her a call, give her a kiss, tell her you love her. Um, you know, I lost my mom this year, so this is a tough year for me. I know some of you guys expressed that uh, you've lost a, a mother as well, and it's hard to get over. I don't think you ever do get over it, but uh, this was definitely a day I would have gave her a call and check on her, but you know, I'm just glad she was saved and, and knew the Lord. So, um, but yeah, originally I was supposed to release a video to this weekend about kind of like a four month review of my business and all the gig apps that I do, but I'm actually gonna push that back. I got an unexpected call uh, yesterday and uh, end up working on Mother's Day. <laughs> so anyway, this is what happened. Check it out. this out um, so I wasn't planning on doing much on Sunday obviously you know Mother's Day and all that we just go chill and uh, so as you know I have a dispatcher with uh, Jump Logistics and um, you know that's for my, my regular route uh, Monday and Thursday route uh, dropping off suits to three different locations and uh, that that route is only one hour and it pays fifty dollars so uh, I got another call yesterday from another dispatcher with Jump Logistics, a different, a different person. And they asked me, would I be available tomorrow, which is today, Sunday. And uh, I'm like, yeah, I don't really have nothing planned. So um, they basically like, if you can, if you don't mind, we got a lot of orders, um, like Mother's Day orders at uh, Tiff Treats. I think that's a cookie place. Tiff's Treats or something like that. And uh, he's like, if you don't mind, you know, can you help us out? I was like, sure. So anyway, so I got the, I accepted it. They sent me the orders. I got eight right now. And the best part about it is the pickup is all the same place. So I'm going to pick up eight separate orders and deliver them across San Antonio. And they're paying anywhere from 10 to $12 per order plus tip. So I'm in my regular car, I'm, I got a full tank. This thing is really good on gas. So that's a nice way to start off the week. So it shouldn't take long. Um, I'm heading to a uh, tips treats right now. It's only, uh, it's 8.30 in the morning. So uh, I'm gonna see how long this is gonna take. Uh, he said he might have a couple more after this once I'm done, so we'll see. So man, God is good. All right, man, I am in the bougie city of Stone Oak. Nothing but rich folk. Uh, they didn't tell me how to do this stuff, so I don't even know this dispatcher. So I'm gonna just drop the food off like uh, like I do with uh, like uh, DoorDash and stuff. So, Tiff Treats, oh yeah, it should be right here. And it's open. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna pick up these eight orders and knock them out and see what else he got for me. All right, man, just picked these up. I uh, only had to wait about five minutes. So they're, it has the customer's name on it. I'm not gonna show it, but they're really nice uh, little gift packages. So about to drop these off. Got eight stops and uh, should be done shortly. Oh, I got this bag and I got another bag over here. So it's, it's eight of them total. Now this might be a good gig for my wife, man. I'm gonna tell her about this. 
She could do uh, Tiff treats. They got a little uh, delivery. Delivery vehicle, so. If they do independent contractors too, man, shoot. I'm about to hook her up. She got another job. All right, man, so I'm almost to uh, my first stop. Um, so the app that we use on these uh, contract routes uh, it's called CXT, I think, or CTX, or something like that. Uh, I used it before because I, I used it when I did a contract route before. Um, but I like it because it has all the information there. So it navigates you automatically, you know, what, what stops you should go to first, and it does it right. Um, and you can navigate directly from the app, and then it also has notes. So, like, if it's a gated community, it has the gate code and everything already in there. It has a customer's number. So, really, like, I shouldn't have to call the customer for nothing. Every, it's a little more organized. So, uh, it's, it's set up so that you can do the route without any, uh, you know, anything slowing you down. So, uh, I'm almost here. And I'm not going to show the customer's house. Plus, I need to use my phone to... Uh, I don't know if they want me to get a signature or not. I was told that we don't have to get a signature. We just got to get a name. So I just type the name in and take a picture and that's it. So I'm probably not going to ring doorbells. Well, I'll probably ring the doorbell, but I'm going to leave. Like I'm going to just leave it on the porch, uh, ring the doorbell and put the customer's name and close it out. So, All right. Got that gate open and about to make my first drop. Good to go. All right, man, I'm all done. Got that dropped off. Man, I just want to show you this neighborhood I'm in, man. Look at this house right here. Man. Let me see, can you see it? Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's what kind of neighborhood I'm in. So anyways, uh, it's easy, man. Drop it off. I, I don't even think I need to ring the doorbell or nothing. Um, Cause uh, the guy, he seemed like he didn't really want me to ring the doorbell. Um, his dog started going crazy and all that. So it sounds like all you gotta do is drop it off, take a picture and uh, put the customer's name in there and roll to the next one. So I think that's what I'm gonna do from here on out. Man, this is the type of house I want when I, uh, when I retire, man, when the kids is grown and gone, I don't want no house that big though. A little single story out here. And this is really not like country. It, it's out away from the city, but it's not too far. It's like, you're like 20 minutes away from uh, from the stores and all that stuff. So anyways, all right, man, I ain't gonna bore y'all with this. Let me knock these uh, stops out and uh, see what else is in store. Man, look at this house. All right, uh, this is my third to last stop. And uh, another nice gated community. All right, man, just dropped off my second to last one. I saw a beautiful sight right here. That is just a beautiful sight to see that in the driveway. Hey, you doing it there. I like that. Know you in the country when you see this. All right, man. So I am on my uh, my fifth stop. Uh, it's about eleven o'clock. So um, they are really hurt. So they got even more orders to do, and they don't have enough people. So uh, they gave me I want to say like four or five more. So. This might turn out to be kind of an all day thing. Uh, I'm gonna do it just because, you know, I am new and I wanna make a good impression on these guys come through when they need me the most. So they'll remember stuff like this. So uh, I'm probably not gonna, I was gonna post a video on my uh, four month review, but uh, I think I'm gonna postpone that till next weekend. So I'll be doing this for most of the day. Um, 
So I just got three more and then I go got to go back to Tiff Streets and pick up, uh, I want to say four, maybe five more stops. So they keep adding stops. So that's just every time I hear a stop, that's just more money in the bank. So looks like this is going to be it, man, for my, my video this weekend. All right, man. Uh, pulling back up to Tiff Treats. Uh, it's almost 12 o'clock. I did run it by the wife. She cool with it. You know, it is Mother's Day and everything. And she like, you know what? It's only going to be busy like this, you know, on days like this. So take advantage of it, you know, and uh, just bring me something to eat. That's all she says. Bring me and the boys something to eat on your way home. So I got the green light. I'm already out here. Easy money. So I think they gave me either seven or eight more stops. So I'm going to find out right now. I think it's seven. So I'm gonna load up, knock this next batch of orders out, and I should be done after that. All right, man, money talks, man. Uh, I ended up taking 15 more. So I got a total of 23 stops. I did eight already, so I got 15 more stops. Um, just loaded down, I got some in the trunk too. Um, so he said I'm sitting at about 350 right now with tips. So I'm like, you know what? For six hours of work, 350, just dropping off some cookies. It might be a little mad though, cause it's hot and uh, this stuff. Some people, somebody got ice cream too, so they might be a little mad. It's gonna be a little melted, but I'll get it to them. So uh, yeah, the wife was like, yeah, go ahead get that 350. Um, and the dude said there's even more stops that I could do if I want to, but I told him like, I'm like, nah, let me let me knock these out and then uh, see what time it is, cause. Some of these I gotta drive kind of far. Like most of them are about 10, 15 minutes apart, but uh, some of them are like 20 miles apart. So, uh, but there's there's like two or three customers in the same area. So, but anyways, yep, I'm gonna be at this all day. All right, man, I just dropped off. Uh, I don't even know what number, 15, 16, I don't know. I got about uh, probably about six more stops. So. Uh, just driving through this neighborhood and I saw another beautiful sight. Look at that. That is nice. I love to see those in the driveway right there. Get that money. My goodness. There's a lot of independent contractors live in this neighborhood. That's a uh, that's a pro master right there. Go ahead. finished at four o'clock it's exactly four o'clock so I worked about six and a half hours and uh, the dispatcher told me um, my pay is it's approximate but he's saying it's gonna be around 350 and uh, but that all depends on tips so I'm still getting um, they still got to calculate all the tips so uh, I think six and a half hours but 350 is pretty good just dropping off some cookies so the only thing i did not like about this uh this route is well for one jump logistics is not very organized they kind of do like stuff last minute and you know they just you know they don't tell you like what you're supposed to do they just assume you already know so thankfully i'm already familiar with this this app that i use the app it doesn't track anything all it does is you just mark when you arrive when you picked up Mark when you deliver, you gotta take a picture. Sometimes you gotta get a signature, all that stuff. But um, I'm already familiar with it because I used it when I did a route before. Uh, I worked a contract route for two weeks. So it's the same app, um, but it doesn't like show your pay or mileage or nothing like that. So um, they don't explain anything. They're just like, yeah, I wasn't sure if I'm supposed to ring the doorbell, if I'm supposed to get a signature. So I just did it like like DoorDash. I, I, Set the uh, the cookies down, took a picture of it, and I rang the doorbell and left. So we'll see. If they complain, then hey, I didn't know. They didn't tell me nothing. So they are a little unorganized. Um, but um, I was saying. So what I did not like about the route is that I thought that the app will route you correctly, but it doesn't. 
Um, so it if I followed that the next stop, it would have took me way longer because it had me going like 20 miles and then coming back and then going back where I just came from. So you had to really like kind of know the area. So I, I looked at all the zip codes and I delivered in those zip codes. So everything was out of order, but um, it worked out. So I don't like that. Um, I know my old job, when I did a contract route for two weeks, it will route you automatically. It'll show you the next stop and it'll properly route you. So uh, this one, it doesn't. So I didn't like that. And I don't like that they're, they're not organized. Uh, it's not a lot of information. And they do stuff kind of last minute. So like I should have known about this you know, at least a week ago, I would have been prepared. So the reason I say that is because they offered me eight more stops. I just did 23 stops. So they offered me eight more and I'm like, nah, man, I'm done. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> so even though the money's good, but like that's, I'm good. Like I made 350, been away from the family. It's Mother's Day, I'm about to go, you know, spend the rest of my time with them. So, um, but other than that, I mean, like I said, it's pretty easy money and, uh, yeah, you know, the wife is cool with it. She just said, bring her something to eat. So that's what I'm about to do right now. And um, I do got to fix my car. Somebody uh, rear-ended the front end of my car. It didn't cause a lot of damage, but um, they're going to pay for it. But I have to get it uh, inspection. I got two uh, estimates I got to get. So I might not be able to work that much next week. So that's why another reason why I wanted to do this job. So just to end with that. I have to say that uh, if it was not for me networking and talking to another driver out here, uh, Trey, I would have never got my contract route. You know, my contract route, one hour, one hour route, fifty dollars, easy money. Um, and then that led me to Jump Logistics. Got connected with this dispatcher who's helping me get a job with TSA delivering at the airport. And now they're reaching out to me for other jobs. So now this Tiff Treats cookie place, you know, I'm letting them know like, hey, I'm available on the weekends. My wife's available during, during the week. So now they just added another body to, uh, you know, to do those uh, independent contractor routes. And my wife, she could do it, you know, between like, you know, nine and two o'clock, she's free. So, um, I don't think it's really worth it unless they give us specific zip codes. Like when they, like today they had me running all over the place. Like I don't even know how many miles I drove, but I started at a full tank and I'm at a quarter tank right now. And this car is really good on gas. It only costs about $22 to fill up, but um, you know, it was a lot of driving. So. If this was like a regular day and she just had my wife or me, I just had like eight stops and that's it, it wouldn't have been worth it. So the fact that today is just one of those rare busy days where, you know, you just, you're going to make a lot of money. It, it was worth it. So, but anyways, uh, I'm about to jump on the freeway, grab something to eat, head home. Uh, I will do a video on my, uh, my four month review of know just everything I've learned so far I'm gonna pass it on and kind of kind of uh, uh, rate the uh, the different gig apps that I do um, so that'll be sometime next week and other than that man y'all enjoy y'all weekend the rest of your weekend hug your mother tell her you love her and I will catch y'all on the next one holla Bye. <laughs>